आर वॉचिंग डिवाइन नॉलेज टूडे आई विल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट द लाइट नाउ दिस इज नो ऑर्डनरी लाइट दिस इज नॉट अ बल्ब और मे बी एल ई डी लाइट टूडे आई विल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट डिवाइन लाइट और मे बी फॉर अ कॉमन कॉमन मैन टू अंडरस्टैंड इनलाइटमेंट जिसको मेरे वाले साहब कहते थे रोशनी स्पीड लाइटनिंग से ज़्यादा फास्ट है स्पीड ऑफ इट स्पीड ऑफ डिविनिटी इज फास्टर दैन लाइटनिंग इफ आई से दैट लाइटनिंग इज फास्टर दैट विल बी रॉन्ग स्टेटमेंट द स्टेटमेंट इज दैट डिविनिटी इज लाइट enlightenment divine light is faster than lightning because the 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 main core of it of divinity is it cannot be encapsulated in anything of this universe or that universe that's the core of it that's the basic law divinity runs on that it fits in no mold no mold can hold it, hold it and it cannot be encapsulated or grasped into words or maybe in anything even in the holy books all the holy books divinity describes itself as the most powerful there is no more power in anything else than divinity and that is the creator of any religion now one can say for the people who are enlightened what do they see what do they see wo dekhte kya hai sunte kya hai aur samajh mein kya aata hai that means what do they understand whereas understanding is concerned one thing is for sure they only understand that thing that the enlightenment wants them to understand wo wohi samajh sakte hain jo enlightenment unko samjhana chahti hai yani the divine one thing is this now the other thing as a example whoever passes away for like 20 seconds 30 seconds or maybe dies and then comes back starts to breathe heartbeat comes back they always mention one thing i've seen the light i've seen light i've seen the light i've seen light and their perception of life changes that is basically what other people understand that the perception of life changes because they have died and come back so they value life it's not that whoever sees that light changes changes their thought process changes they do not understand anything because they have seen that light which is known for knowing the light knows everything if we make it dark the whole world goes dark will be be able to see anything hum kuch dekh sakenge nothing kuch bhi nahi dekh sakte we cannot see nothing 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 will be seen that means that if we cannot see anything will it cease its existence yani ki uski existence khatam ho gayi hai humans as humans basically as we all know this thing this whole world and everything everything is made and we are the uh, highest form of the makhluk but one thing is there that it will remain there it will not cease existence the only thing is for us without light everything is null and void it is it is basically ceased its existence now coming back to divinity divine light people who know 
or understand divinity i'm talking about the light because there is no one who can understand the creator no one because it cannot be encapsulated band nahi ho sakta wo azad hai har soch ke mehwar se azad hai our thinking our capacity is not that much that we can understand him we only understand that much what he has told us to do that's as much as far as it goes according to my knowledge hamara jo sochne ka mehwar hai a thought process that varies perception based hai har aadmi apne hisab se sochta hai har aadmi apne religion ke hisab se sochta hai everyone thinks in accordance to their own religion what they have been taught since childhood divinity light when it hits one's thought process thought process mein aati hai कल पे आती है थॉट प्रोसेस है कल पे एक ही चीज़ है दोनों दे आर बोथ वन थिंग कल पे आती है या नाजिल होती है उतरती है लाइट की मैं बात कर रहा हूँ आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट लाइट परसेप्शन चेंजेस एवरीथिंग चेंजेस बिकॉज वन स्टार्ट्स टू फील एवरीथिंग वन स्टार्ट्स टू फील एवरीथिंग थ्रू दैट लाइट that light's intensity is such i'm talking about the enlightened because of the enlightenment they become enlightened they can see now the thing is that ke har cheez jo hai us roshni ke mehwar mein they measure i'm talking about the people you know the men of god put it this way they start to measure everything and they measure everything in the same accordance what the light measures it as if the light hits the wall it will reflect and become weak and then it will go there by the time it hits 10 walls it will go weak the same formula applies with enlightenment it hits it goes somewhere else and then it goes it goes weaker but the strength does not decrease the strength the intensity does not decrease the only thing is the knowing bit until where you can understand the holiness of the creator i'm talking about the holiness of the creator over here the holiness of creator until that that goes weaker a direct source a direct source will get you easier to the creator than to a reflection a rebound of light that will change the perception of the source within and one thing i need to put down here the just last bit of it to understand the creator to understand the creator the creator himself has left various avenues there are loads of avenues loads of religions and people and everyone is talking about something saying about something and uh, some people understand what they are saying some people just brush it off or oh, he doesn't know what he's talking about or maybe something some people say different things but it all depends on the perception one can believe in one person have faith in him ki yes this this person is showing me the path towards the uh, creator or maybe that or this theory appeals me this theory appeals me i feel i feel good about it this theory yes it 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 gives me power it gives me i understand this thing or this quote or this saying or whatever i'm just giving a big uh, about everything everyone but the main core is of everything who sees the light who sees the light because to be enlightened to touch divinity or to understand divine 
or maybe simply just understand the divine light one has to see that particular divine light i will leave it here till the next video and thank you very much for watching me and do make sure that you subscribe like and do share if you want to if you've got the resources and thank you very much for watching divine knowledge bye bye